Grad 2023, you're almost there. By now, you have seen these graduation requirements as they are required for all students who wish to graduate from uh, British Columbia High School with a BC Dogwood Diploma. Please note that these include all of your grad requirements that you have been required to complete between grade 10 and 11, plus also the grade 12s that you will be working on this year. Also that you will have a numeracy assessment, a literacy assessment 10 at the literacy assessment 12. And also we're talking about your career life connections to make sure that you all understand the value of what you're um, being asked to complete this year. Career education is a vital part of your grad requirements. In fact, fully 10% of your grad requirements are from Career Life Education 10 and Career Life Connections 12. Students earn eight credits by planning their education, investigating their post-secondary options, and preparing for life after high school. Please note that the main components of Career Life Connections are a career and life plan, which is helping to prepare you for your transition uh, from secondary school. You'll also be asked to do a capstone presentation after January. Um, you're going to be showing that you're ready to move on into the community by demonstrating at least 30 hours worth of work experience and or community service. This can be paid or volunteer and will demonstrate your experience and skill set and how this benefits both you and the community and also making sure you have a healthy living plan as you transition into the adult world. Career Life Connections tasks are tracked through the online program of My Blueprint, and you are use, you use your time during your career ed class to make sure that you are getting these tasks completed. Students were given a copy of their Diploma Verification Report, their DVR. This document summarizes the work the students have completed, the marks they have earned, and lists the class they are currently enrolled in. The DVR is a powerful piece of information and all students need to ensure they have stored a copy of their DVR in their My Blueprint portfolio. The whole purpose of a DVR is to make sure students are on track to walk out of our doors in June and to, uh, if they're on track, to make sure they're ready to set into the walk through the next set of doors be that a college, university, or the workforce. And if you're not on track, what you need to do and um, to contact your counselor to make sure that that, is get, that, that gets done. Uh, this is a, um, a sample of a DVR. Please ensure that it has your name on it, your pupil number, and your personal education number. You will need to know your personal education to access your transcripts to apply for college or universities and to apply for financial awards. An X will indicate that you have either successfully completed the course or you are currently registered in the course. By the start of grade 12, you should be seeing almost all Xs. Since you have not yet been scheduled for the Literacy 12 assessment, most students will not have an X uh, in this area just right now, but all of these other courses, these grade 10, 11 requirements, uh, means that you have completed those courses. And if it's a course that you're currently registered for, there will be an X there. Please look at the columns. If there is a school mark of over 50%, then you will have passed that course and have earned two or four credits in the earned column mark. If the school mark is less than 50%, then you have not passed that course and you have not earned any credits. If there is no mark, no school mark, uh, and credits do not appear, uh, in the uh, earned credits, but rather in the potential credits, that means that you are registered for that course and you are expected to complete that course in, uh, during this year. Please note with this example, the student has enrolled in 38 credits, 30 of which are at the grade 12 level. They already have 64 credits completed with eight at the grade, um, eight at the grade 12 level. Uh, and these are from the courses that have been completed over the past three years. Assuming they are successful in those courses, the student will finish their grade 12 year with 102 credits and 38 will be at the grade 12 level. This is a fairly typical example of uh, a student graduating uh, from uh, high school looking to go on to post-secondary. Please note that the students must have completed their numeracy 10 assessment and their literacy 10 assessments. 
um, and they will be scheduled for their Literacy 12 assessment uh, during their, the same semester they have their English. If you have not done your Literacy 10 or your Numeracy 10 assessment, let your counselor know you will be scheduled to write that at the earliest possible opportunity. Be aware that some universities are looking at these marks and please make sure when you do write those assessments, you take them very seriously and uh, make sure you are prepared to write them. Um, so again, please check your DVR report again. Do not rush through this. Make sure you are familiar with this um, information and that you can um, track to make sure that you've got what you need for your next, uh, for the next phase of your world. Okay, um, plan for success. Please make sure you're, career, uh, you're attending your career ed class. This is where we're making sure that you have all the information you need, have all the resources available and getting the tasks done. You're going to be creating your British Columbia electronic ID and your student transcript service shortly. This will be coming up very shortly. These are things that are required in order for you to apply to any university or apply for any post-secondary and for some cases uh, to apply for certain licenses and jobs um, in the future. If you are missing a grad requirement, you must contact your counselor immediately. Please let us know through emails, through Teams, through a phone call or just show up at the door. The next set we're going to be talking about is the universities and bursaries and scholarships as your grade 12 is starting. You need to make sure that you're aware of all these different opportunities that are available for you. We have uh, Mrs. Harry and we have Ms. Bottenheimer that are available for you to help with that and they have lots of information um, that is at their fingertips. Most post-secondary schools are now accepting um, applications. The deadline for each school's program is different and you need to be aware of that. Apply for more than one school. Keep your options open. Application fees are required and, they're, and they are non-refundable and you'll need to have a credit card um, at your handy when you go to make these applications. There are lots of virtual information seminars and campus tours available and there's lots of information on our school website, Instagram, the TVs, the announcements. There's all sorts of information. Please uh, pay attention and uh, contact your counselor or the career advisors if you have any questions. Bursaries and deadlines uh, come up fairly quickly and there are some study sessions coming up. There's some, going to be some study sessions coming up in uh, November and December and in January. They will be available during flex blocks. We'll also be having workshops and guest speakers uh, at different times and that's in the Career Center which is up in room 239. Please note these uh, scholarship uh, and bursary deadlines. These are hard deadlines. That means when it says by noon at 12.01 the application is closed and you may no longer submit. Um, so please be aware of this and start planning now. Grade 12 goes by fast. Attend all your classes. Stay on top of your assignments, all your assessments, your tests, your due dates and deadlines. Prioritize the important stuff. School, health, your future. Get involved. Grad planning, grad events and activities. Enjoy the grad class of 2023. You are almost there.